What's up folks, it's your boy DJ Easy Zeke about to be starting a little vlog series with a day in the life of a DJ um, It's about 10.30 in the morning about to get ready and go pick up all my equipment for the event that I have today I got a fundraiser going on in Charlotte But yeah, about to get ready to start the day off So I'm going to take y'all along with me Here we go all right, just finished getting ready. Got all my equipment together as well. And this is what we are bringing as far as personal items go. I got my suit, my controller, camera bag, and my book bag. And then I'm about to go meet the rest of the team that I'm working with today at the warehouse and pick up all of the lights and speakers and everything else we're gonna need for the fundraiser today. But Looking forward to it. Might stop and get some Bojangles too. My boy Cam got some Bojangles. We had a late late night last night, so Bojangles is definitely a necessity to get the uh, juices flowing today. But yeah, about to leave for the warehouse. It's like 11.45 now. It's like a 30 minute drive. All right, just got to the um, warehouse. Secured the Bojangles, much needed. Hopefully that'll wake me up. Like I said, kind of had a late, late night last night, but uh, we're gonna push through. Um, about to go inside and check and see what all equipment I am bringing to the event today for the fundraiser. And yeah, see who is on the event with us as well as far as teammates go and team members, so. All right, just walked into the warehouse. About to see what we got cooking up today for the event. And lights. Oh boy, I think this might be us, what we're working with. One of these. Oh, there we go. So we don't have all of this, I don't think, or maybe we do. Is this all of us? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we got a lot. All right, it's a big one today, boys. This will be a good event um, to do a day in the life of, honestly. I got here a little bit early. Um, I got here 12.30, I wasn't scheduled until one, so. What I'm gonna do now is probably eat my Bojangles and pull the truck around that we're taking to the event. And yeah, for everyone else to get here, so. One rule of thumb in the South is when you go to Bojangles, you always order Supremes. I don't even know what else they offer at Bojangles. I don't think I've ordered anything besides Supremes for the last 10 years, probably. <laughs> Although I will say I like Chick-fil-A better, but I like their breakfast the best, and I got up too late to get their breakfast, so. Sometimes you play yourself. This honestly looks kinda mid right now, too. I feel like Bojangles is kinda hit or miss, but, you know, that's fast food for you. It's all good. It's a beautiful day outside today, too. It's gonna be a good event. This event, let's see. Okay. Tastes a little bit better than it uh, looked, but I give it like a seven, maybe. Maybe six and a half, seven. Seven because I'm hungry. But um, this event today is a little different than what I normally do. I normally do like weddings and birthdays and school dances and stuff like that. No clubs yet. Trying to get on at some clubs, but um, still kind of a beginner at this. But yeah, the event today is a fundraiser. Um, I believe it's for uh, called Madeline's Fund, I want to say. But um, yeah, I uh, met with the uh, client who is like, I guess... She's one of the CEOs or the founders of the fundraiser, I guess. I met with her earlier this week for about an hour on Zoom with uh, my boss as well. And yeah, it looks like a pretty good cause. They um, donate to NICU babies and parents who can't afford maybe if the child passes away or whatever the case is, if they have like medical bills and you know, they just donate to stuff like that. So it seems like a pretty good cause. I'm a little nervous about it though, because last year she said her audio company she rented through, I guess, something went wrong with either the video screens they used or the audio equipment or something like that. And she said it really kind of affected their ability to get donations. So yeah, hopefully today everything, fingers crossed, it goes good. But it should, it should go good. We're, we're pretty well, well prepared here at a ATG. <laughs> I'm gonna give that probably like an eight out of 10, but like I said, I'm starving, so. If I wasn't so hungry, probably like a six. You know what they say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I 
Look how flat this biscuit is. <laughs> they finessed me. <laughs> what the heck? Bojangles, do better. I normally have a little bit um, higher expectations from you, but it is what it is. Can't ruin the positive vibes today. That's the. It's one of the keys to being a DJ. I'm technically a DJ, an event host, an MC. We run lights, smoke, everything. We have TV monitors we're bringing today. But um, one of the most important things about this job is staying positive the whole time. Even if you're at an event, before the event, like the whole day is just staying positive because for one, the days are long. Two, at these events, you know, things can go wrong. Like I said before, the lady that we're working with today told us last year um, some things went wrong and unfortunately I guess it hindered some of the people donating stuff so like stuff like that just staying positive through it and kind of troubleshooting when you need you got to be prepared you know what I'm saying but got to maintain the positive vibes I, I bring the energy to the team I'm the hype man so yeah you'll see although this event like I said it's a little bit different than what I normally do um, there's not too much dancing involved today it'll be a lot of uh, light work and just audio stuff probably um, I think there's about an hour and a half or an hour or so of dancing that they have scheduled, but... Uh, ooh! That felt good. I think this lady just saw me doing the Millie Rock. <sighs> Alright, just finished my Bojangles, and man, that was needed. That was much needed. I feel a lot better, I feel a lot more awake. I feel extremely ready for the day. Um, about to get this truck. About to show y'all what we uh, what we working with. Boom. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but I'm about to figure it out. Somebody pulling up. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? This one. Oh, yep. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, maybe not. Yep. Nope. We have a winner. Here we are. Yo, I get into the truck and this. Bumping. Got that young thug plan. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And uh, my boy Wesley just pulled up, so we're about to go say what's up to Wesley. What's all, dude? What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good, man. How you? Chilling, bro. I'm That's doing a little up. day in the life vlog of a DJ. So oh, yeah, man. So they can see. Yeah. Like, start to end. It's my dog Wesley. We worked on a couple of uh, events together, and yeah, now we're about to load up our truck. I did a pretty not so great job of parking, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We're gonna work with it. <laughs> Everyone, this is Jason. I'm doing a little day in the uh, life vlog for the event. But look what my man just rolled up on to work. What is this thing called? It's called a one wheel. One wheel. A one wheel. He just rode up like a freaking. In the cut. Yeah, like a freaking stallion, dude. Just I parked through out the wind. Get it parked oh, out, bro. Okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you rode it here. You say parked out front. All right, that's how you load a truck. We are locked and loaded. About to head to the event. Had to go grab all my stuff out of my car. And yeah, get ready for the fundraiser. So here we go. All right, we just arrived at our venue, meeting up with the rest of our team. Shout out Brian and Zach. I'm doing a little vlog of the event. What's up? How you doing? What's up, bro? This is, uh, this is Zach and Brian, by the way. These are, uh, the two goats who I'm learning all my DJing tricks from. And now it's time to unload what we just loaded. <laughs> all right, we just unloaded the truck. We're at our venue. Probably about to talk to the venue manager or our client for the day, just to kind of go over everything once again. And we are going to begin setting up our lights, TV, speakers, and our video DJ booth. So I will get back to y'all as we're setting things up. All right, we're at our venue inside, I should say, on the stage. This is what it's gonna look like from the stage, but we still haven't set up our lights and speakers and everything, but about to have a little pre-game meeting. 
All right, folks, we are almost officially completely set up, running through some sound checks and tidying up the workplace. This is what we're working with right now. Got a little stage, a bunch of different crews working very, very hard to pull this event together. It's coming together nicely. It's gonna be a fun time. My dog's out here working hard. But yeah, you know I gotta put him on with you, my Mariah Carey, to start off the event. So, yeah, looking forward to the night. All right, we're out here just waiting to start a quick little rehearsal. Um, just running through some last minute details and tidying up, taping our cords down, getting the equipment we're not using together. My man Wesley been hard to work all day. <laughs> This right here is the goat, Jason with the, you're the goat with the audio, the lighting, the video. You name it, oh. the wireless speakers. <laughs> the wireless speakers, my man got it all. <laughs> but yeah, it's about to be a dope, dope event. Everything's really starting to come together and we're getting all of our lights set up as well. So. All right, officially done setting up, about to do some rehearsals, but in the meantime, we got to grub up. Can't DJ on empty stomachs, that's rule number one. About to stop at City Kitch. Haven't ever had it, but got a little cheesesteak action about to happen. So, I'm about to show y'all what that looks like, too. All right, we're running through a little bit of a rehearsal right now. Are we going to be seeing Daryl with your Yankees? Yeah. Okay, so we'll say thank you. Yeah. 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 Nah, you wanna do it too? Got my dog Brian. <laughs> Behind the scenes of our PowerPoint setup. Guys. show you my cheesesteak because I devoured it so fast I was super super hungry from setting up all this cool equipment but yeah we just got done with our rehearsal currently waiting for our guests to start arriving it's gonna be a good night we're gonna do a little walkthrough all right the event is just beginning we got a small line forming out here in front of the roost everyone is starting to sign in Everyone in their pink attire for the theme of the night. All right, time is about 6.36. We got about 30 minutes until the start of our fundraiser event here for Madeline's Fun. And this is the beautiful The Roof here in Charlotte. Looks a lot better once the sun goes down and you can see all these uplights for sure. We got some knuckleheads down here doing some knucklehead activities. That's what it looks like from the from the ground floor. Yeah. Oh my god. TV screen. Both sides. What you serving over here? We got a filet with mashed potatoes and Okay, okay. I might have to come back to this station. This is the VIP section. Explaining earlier, this is a little bit different event than I normally do. Normally, it's mostly dancing and stuff like that, but this one's a fundraiser event, so we're just playing some light cocktail music in the background as the room slowly starts to fill up. Right now, I got some Bill Withers on the speakers. People are grabbing some cocktails, also grabbing some food from our food stations, taking pictures at our photo booths. My main job right now is to just kick back and relax. I make a couple of announcements on my microphone and just hang out and make some uh, good vibes. So stay tuned for the fun part of the night though. We still got a dancing portion coming up later on around, I want to say,
say nine or so. So we'll be able to have some good dancing footage too. Stay tuned. some of the stuff that some of these people are wearing. It's actually really, really good. This guy's shoes right here. Look at these shoes. They're so cool. We got a bunch of pink stuff in the room. This is a room with, looks like art being showcased. booth action. Alright, I want to show y'all what a real cameraman looks like. I'm not a real cameraman. My man right here though, he's been wearing this for hours. Been recording everything, getting it all. I'm going to step up one day and I'm going to be walking around with one of those. That's really big for us to be able to raise that type of money. We just got done unloading our truck. Team members are officially leaving the warehouse. It is 1.10 in the morning and we just got done loading all of this. Let's see, let's do a little quick recap. We loaded the truck when we got here, unloaded it at the venue, loaded everything back up into the truck, drove from the venue to the warehouse, and then unloaded it for a third and final time for a grand total of about, I don't even know what time I started today. I wanna to say like 11 or noon maybe, but day's not really over yet because I still gotta drive like 30 minutes home, but 
Yeah, it's been a crazy long day. I'm excited for, this is my first episode of like a vlog, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. Appreciate everyone who helped out today too. It was a great event. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and lock up the warehouse and then I'm gonna hop in the whip and head home, so. All right, folks, we are back at the crib. It is like two in the morning. I'm exhausted. It's been a fun day, it's been a long day. Day in the life of a DJ, bro. But yeah, till next time, y'all. Peace, have a good one. Hey, I give you my devotion. When I'm with you, feels like I'm floating. Hey, baby, what is the chance?